I also think that I could pass the bar exam. Am I crazy to think that? No. Just using logic? I because <laughs> Yes. My, yeah, you wow. No, if you were to so? study for <laughs> it. If you were people to study who graduate from law school who can't pass the bar But there's exam. also a lot of using logic. Well, there's also a lot of, as we, you know, as we t talked to Fridge earlier about, there's a lot of guys who pass the bar in prison. Like they go yeah, to the library, they study go to the up, library and, and study. Yeah, yeah do a shitload yes, of research. Not just do it. My man PFT said, <laughs> just off logic. He yeah, off logic. I, 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 I was about to agree with him until he said just off logic. I, I was think, like, if you studied, yeah. All right, so my my educational <laughs> history. I'm not proud to admit this, but um, I didn't I didn't do a lot of assigned work when I was in college oh. or in high school. Really? I, but I have. I'm a good test taker, so I can like figure out what they're trying to ask me in the questions, even if I wasn't prepared. I mean, there were obviously some classes where I couldn't bullshit my way through, but I, I think maybe it's maybe th this might be a case of me being the most delusional person on planet Earth. I just want to try it. I want to see if I could take the bar exam and if I could pass it with no prep whatsoever. While we are, watch are there, the Matrix, are there, are we'll there, take a practice exam. Yeah, are there like practice exams you can take online? Yeah, there's got to be. I think my buddy was taking them. Ask your ask your boyfriend. Yeah, Chat GPT. Oh, my boyfriend or my 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 friend who's a boy who's no, no, actually taking them or Chat GPT. No, your or your Bard. robot your robot boyfriend. Yeah. Ask for a sample question. He's an intellectual dildo. Who? Bard. Oh, your Chat GPT. Yeah, because he's, he's <laughs> intellectually, intellectually <dildo>. stimulating. <laughs> Thanks. What's an example of a bar exam question? How long do you think a bar exam takes? Probably it's like two it's like two oh, days. Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah, uh, I'm out. That's <laughs> it's just, it must say, purely off of logic. <laughs> it's sitting there, sitting there, and deductive reasoning for two days straight. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, here's a here's an essay question. Okay. Oh, here's a multiple choice question. All right, give me multiple choice. Okay. Which of the following is not a defense to a medical malpractice claim? Oh shit! All right. <laughs> the plaintiff consented to the medical procedure. The defendant was acting in an emergency situation. The defendant was following the standard of care. The defendant's negligence was not the proximate cause of the plaintiff's injury. A. A. I think, Easy. Wait, wait, Easy. wait. Run, run the questions back again. So I'm going to send it to the group in a message so you guys can properly check it out. Oh, the, I agree it, with you, the, the answer is A. Well, just look at it again. Okay. I, just, just I don't run, have run Well, I see the answer. R Which of the, the following is not a defense to a medical malpractice claim? A, the plaintiff consented to the medical procedure. B, the defendant was acting in an emergency situation. C, the defendant was following the standard of care. D, the defendant's negligence was not the proximate cause of the plaintiff's injury. Oh, was not the cause. I think it might be D. No, no, it's A. I think it's still A. The, the answer is A. The no, plaintiff the answer, consented to the medical procedure. That the answer is C, the defendant was following the standard of care. The standard of care is the level of care that is a reasonably prudent doctor would exercise under the same or similar circumstances. If the defendant followed the standard of care, then they are not liable for the medical malpractice, even if the plaintiff suffered injuries. Right. But that's that the question. That's the opposite of what you asked. Yeah. That Which is, of the following that is, is not a defense? But the way you just ex explained it is that it's a defense. Was, it's a defense. Well, you know what? I'm just reading what this Chad. Could be, well, this could this be why we don't ask up. Chat GPT. <clears throat> Let's go to the Illinois bar exam tutor. Uh, you know, sound off in the TikTok comments. What yeah. your thoughts are, lawyers? I, I mean, see, the defendant was following the standard of care. That seems to me like that'd be an ironclad defense against medical malpractice. I don't know, man. I don't. But that's why the I'm plaintiff, not a lawyer. But the plaintiff con consented to it. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. The plaintiff consented. The other three choices are all potential defenses to a medical malpractice claim. If the plaintiff consented to the medical procedure, then the defendant is not liable. Oh, what the fuck? The He's not liable a. unless they committed negligence beyond the scope of the plaintiff's consent. If the defendant was acting in an emergency situation, then they are held to a lower standard of care. Right. I agree. If the defendant's negligence was not the proximate cause of the plaintiff's injury, then the defendant is not liable. Yeah. So you just so basically said the answer is A. It's got to be. I don't know, man. You That's know what? Shit. Fuck this shit. This is why we're not lawyers. Well, this is why we don't use Bard for Well, everything. maybe Bard's right and we just can't comprehend it. No, I don't think so. No. I think yeah. I'm smarter than that computer. I'm like an Elon Musk fan. Yeah. Sorry, I, I like technology. What What is your obsession with a AI? Well, I feel like if I do not like use it to no, no, empower no, be, be me. No, no, no. Be serious. Be serious. I'm being serious. Like, If you're not like working with it, then you are going to be left in the dust. 
because but, it's so it's like it's gonna reach higher than human intelligence in the next three years. But right now, three years. Right now, we're three you, or four. Uh, that's what, like something I read, like twenty or the like twenty thirty. That's not three. We're years, using it for right now is basically <laughs> like Google. Yeah. Yeah. But like, for example, it was much more efficient to just type that in than go look for myself for a random question. But it also might be wrong. It also might be wrong, but we'll see. Yeah. Do you want, I have some questions where we know we have the right answer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Give me, those? give me the questions. All right. Can Anne be convicted of burglary if her defense is that she entered the building solely to seek refuge from a sudden storm? Read it again. Can yes. Can Anne be convicted of burglary? Well, there's four choices. Can Anne be convicted of burglary if her defense is that she entered the building solely to seek refuge from a sudden storm? A. Yes, Anne can be convicted of burglary even if she entered the building to seek refuge from a sudden storm. B. No, Anne cannot be convicted uh, of burglary if she entered the building solely to seek refuge. C. Maybe it depends whether Anne had a history of committing crimes. D. Wow. It depends on the severity of the storm that Anne encountered. I think I'm hearing two key words there. This is me logicing the test. I might be wrong. Nice. Logic that I'm shit. I'm hearing yeah. two key words here. Mm -hmm. The word solely. The word solely stands out. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know what burglary means. But yeah, uh, but but I think I think the answer is no, she cannot, because she went she did not go into the store to rob anything. She solely went in the store. To get away from the storm. So your answer would be B. And, no, she cannot be convicted of burglary. And it, it was a crime of convenience, which I don't. I'm going to say B. No. Is burglary technically because it might just be like actually the act of entering something and not actually taking anything. Right. Like that's, yeah, that's that's, yeah, that's that's where the S burglary. What is to burglary? Say. I'm going to say B. No, she cannot if she's solely because it repeated the word solely. Okay, Arian, you said yes. You yes. think A? No, no, no. Wait. Is you the, think she is the, could be convicted? Oh, okay. yes, no, I think she can be. She can yes. be. Yes. Entry into a building illegally with the intent to commit a crime. Yeah, no. So, so that wrong. can also fall under trespassing. No, you're wrong. Uh, the answer is B and cannot be convicted of burglary. Uh, burglary uh, requires the intent to commit a crime upon entering a building mm -hmm. and seeking shelter from a storm is not a criminal act. There we go. I'm a lawyer. So what about you got, so what, so you what gotta about, listen what about, to these, what about these a, key words? What about a what about a home? Can Anne enter a home? Uh I, I, that's that's not the what the question was though, Aaron. The so solely entering a place like a place of business, you can't be convicted of burglary because you didn't go into the store to rob it. You went in there for a different reason. Well, this is what I'm saying. What if you're you have a, a ranch in the middle of nowhere and there's a tornado coming? And you break into somebody's house to seek refuge from a storm. Can you be convicted of probably a crime? You you probably could be convicted of uh, trespassing. Honestly, I think we'd all end up in prison in a lot of these it situations. It depends. It depends on how you define burglary, which is actually when we get into prisons. One of the big points is like how you categorize different crimes. Like a lot of the times, like violent crimes actually don't have anything violent in them. Mm -hmm. But they'll have like could have led to violence. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Property, so a lot of stuff like that. The language in which what we how we define burglary or breaking and entering stuff like that is kind of vague, and it's not black and black and white as it seems. So yeah, yeah. It, Big T, do you have? A, are there any more questions? Uh, yeah. Here's a contracts law question. Oh, good. Which the following statements is true regarding the scenario where Jane proposed to sell her car to John for $5,000, but sold the car to someone else the very next day without receiving any acceptance or consideration from John? A, yes, John can sue Jane for breach of contract because she made an offer to him. B, John cannot sue Jane for breach of contract because no contract was formed between the two. C, maybe John can sue Jane for breach of contract because he needed time to think it over. Or D, it depends on the type of contract Jane proposed. Would it be B? I um, say B. I say B, B. B. B sounds right to me. Can you read B again? No, John cannot sue Jane for breach of contract because no contract was formed between the two. And can you read the question again? Which of the following statements is true regarding the scenario where Jane proposed to sell her car to John for $5,000 but sold the car to someone else the very next day without receiving any acceptance or consideration from John. Yeah, he, she just proposed no acceptance or consideration. 
Yeah, I, I'd say be on is, that is, one is is a is a is verbal is a verbal contract binding? I know in some states it is, in some states it isn't. Well, there wasn't any. That was part of the. So the the key word I heard a verbal. Agreement. The key word that I've heard was proposed. Yeah, proposed. Yes. Uh, the answer she, is B. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah. She These proposed. These seem it. easier than like. Those you are know. definitely the filler questions. There's definitely hard ones at the end. Are there filler questions in the bar exam? I think these are just giving you an idea of like the subjects and stuff that could be. On yeah. There. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah the, you, I think that, I think you have to actually know case law too. So like you'll, sure. you'll actually have to know Rogers versus state in 2018 has set the precedent for this yeah. kind of case law. So they reference that like in courts all the time, they'll reference case law. If some, in case something like that similarly comes up. So they'll be like, if you How long go does, back to, but right. Speaking right. of you have test to, taking. it sounds like a lot of studying that you have to have to oh, be yeah, able to like insane. We'll recall that. I want to know. I want to know how long it takes if I'm allowed to take the bar exam and how much it costs. Do you think you could pass the bar? I think I think I could pass the bar exam. No Re shot in hell. <laughs> quick, quick. Uh, you're fucking insane. And I I think you're a brilliant man, but I, that's insane. Quick. I'd Wait. be willing to take the LSAT with you if you wanted to take the LSAT and see what you could I get don't on that. Do like grad school. I want to be. I want to be a well, lawyer. Well, the LSAT you can actually <laughs> pass because a lot of it's like right. That my buddy, stuff that's, that you, you don't have to study for necessarily because it's not have to do with case law. It's all you like do weird need to study shit. for it. But yeah, it wouldn't involve as much as like stuff you would make learn a video. PFT takes the LSAT. I just want to. I want to see what I would get on the bar exam. Okay, I, I, I don't actually believe that I would pass the bar exam. I'm not. I'm not that delusional. I. I, I'm just interested to see how how far I could go on bullshit. Well, real quick, speaking of test taking, when American psychologist Timothy Leary arrived at prison in 1971, he knew how to answer the psychology tests inmates, inmates take because he helped design some of the questions. Hmm. And he then manipulated those tests to get a gardening job, a position he used to escape. Interesting. Okay, PFT, I found a free 40-question practice exam with like three paragraph questions. So okay. I'm going to send this to you. I'll take it as well. Okay. And we'll see what we get. Okay. Sounds good.